Hey guys, it's Faith here. So today I'm going to be filming a hotel gym workout focusing on legs. I thought this was a really good video to have just because it's the holidays, we're all traveling, we're staying you know, in other places, we're gonna have limited equipment and I just thought this could be very helpful for some of you. Um, I'm currently on vacation for Thanksgiving. This hotel gym is a lot nicer than a lot of hotel gyms that I've seen. It does have a good amount of equipment but I'm gonna be focusing on things you can kind of do anywhere. Uh, just so you can get the most out of this if you do have like no equipment. So I'm going to be doing legs today. Let's go. start off with some warm-up and glute activation when I say activation all that means is you are trying to engage your glutes uh, throughout the workout basically so you want to activate them get them warmed up uh, really be able to feel the squeeze throughout each of these exercises that so that when you're doing other exercises you can kind of imitate that squeeze and um, know that you're working your glutes while doing other things uh, and then just to warm up get things moving I also stretched before so that first exercise you just saw was glute bridges basically you're laying on your back and you're just lifting up at the hips you do want to squeeze through your glutes when you lift up and then you move into hip pull parts here I was just leaning back on my elbows because it was more comfortable and you're just pulling apart at the knees you do want to feel this in your hips and in your uh, glutes uh, this is really good for um, just opening up the hips as well which is can help you with squats and things like that uh, then I moved into donkey kicks so you just kind of roll over and you're on your hands and knees uh, once again I was just on my elbows because that was just more comfortable for me um, and basically for this you are just kicking one leg up uh, you can do all of these without the band but I prefer the band it adds another level of difficulty um, to these exercises that are technically a little more simplistic so the band resistance bands are great for adding difficulty uh, but yeah, for these you're just kicking up the band. I left it around my uh, thighs throughout this whole warm-up uh, right above my knees because I was able to get kind of the best uh, range of motion at that area and the best pull with it. So then you're going to move into fire hydrants. Uh, yes, these are called fire hydrants because it kind of looks like you're a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. I know, I don't know if that was necessary to inform you of, but there you go. But so with these, you're just lifting up with the hips once again. Um, this is also going to open up the hips. All these are really good for opening up the hips, warming up in general. Uh, and just you want to feel that squeeze through your glutes in all of these. So that is what we are doing to start off. And so for these warm ups, you're going to be doing 10 of each exercise. Alright, so starting the workout, we're going to be doing a superset. This first clip that you see is the first part of the superset, even though it does include two exercises, there is a second part of the superset. Um, this is kind of like a pass, I would consider it, like a walking pass. So um, it does include two exercises. So basically what you're going to be doing, if you watch, is I stepped first with my left leg, then with my right leg, and then I stepped out easily with my left leg into a wide, two wide stance squats. So uh, I did some wide stance squats to put a little bit more focus on my glutes uh, rather than my quads. Um, same with, you know, some of deadlifts, etc. But uh, this definitely got my heart rate up in the beginning of the workout, which was awesome. Uh, I've been training a lot heavier lately, so this was kind of a change up from, from my usual um, routine because I've been lifting heavier with lower rep range, and this is just goes to show that it's important to uh, switch up your routine and keep endurance levels up, work on your cardio because I have not been doing a good job of that. Um, but you're gonna be doing this both ways five times, so 10 passes total. Uh, then you're going to move into the second part of the superset. With this, it's just body weight uh, work uh, to kind of combat the weight work. I was holding, I think, 15 or 20 pounds on that last clip. But you're going to start with uh, by doing eight um, mountain climbers on each leg. So that's 16 total. And then you're going to go right into eight jumping squats. Yeah. 
So next superset you're going to be starting with one legged uh, hip thrusts. With these you want to put the dumbbell on the leg that is supporting all of your weight just so that that leg is the one completely lifting the weight. Um, with hip thrusts I always like to do these with an actual barbell and kind of load on more weight. Uh, but since we're using you know limited equipment, we don't have a whole lot to use. This is a great great alternative. I also like to do these, uh, you know, on my regular workout sometimes too because the one, uh, you know, just being able to target one side can be really really impactful and just get a really good burn. Um, and you can get you're working each side equally, which is what is really really important here. So with those, you're just pressing up with the one leg um, with the dumbbell. So you're going to be doing 12 on each leg. Then you're going to be moving into the second part of the superset. You're just going to be doing Bulgarian split squats, but I, uh, you know, just use body weight and I did jumping split squats instead of regular split squats. Um, you could do regular split squats and hold weight, but this was kind of just to keep my heart rate up, uh, change things up a bit because as you can see, I was definitely um, struggling with these a little bit and I, you know, looking at it now, I'm like, what the heck, I can barely get off the ground, that's pretty, that's pretty sad. <laughs> so I uh, definitely might start working these a little bit more because these were really hard for me to get off the ground, but with these you're going to be doing uh, four sets of eight on each leg and for the first uh, set it, it, it for the first exercise it's four sets as well now we're going to be moving on to some straight leg deadlifts with these you're going to be working those hamstrings uh, I was just holding dumbbells obviously you can do these with a standard bar and more weight or just a preset bar but with the hotel this is what I had so this is what I was working with uh, when you do these you really want to focus on pushing back with your butt first you're not bending over like you're going to just touch your toes like a normal kind of stretch um, it's a it, it's a different feel. As you can see, I'm kind of tapping my toes and leaning back on my heels, and this will kind of help you uh, just get that motion down. Um, with those, you're going to be doing four sets of 12 reps. Uh, next, we're going to move on to hamstring curls, dumbbell hamstring curls. The hotel gym I was in did have a lot of nice equipment, but they didn't have a hamstring curl machine. So with these. You're just going to be holding the dumbbell, dumbbell in between your feet. I was using a 15 pound dumbbell, I believe, and you're laying on a bench. And basically you're just extending your legs out and uh, in and then pulling them back in. Uh, these, in my opinion, are a lot harder than regular dumbbell, uh, than regular hamstring curls. So definitely try them out whether you have the equipment or not. All right, so moving on to the next super set, you're gonna be starting off with some side step ups. Uh, I've been doing these a little bit differently at the suggestion of my boyfriend. Usually I just do these normally where I'm standing up tall and uh, I was using dumbbells and he just kind of suggested to drop the weight and only use my body weight and start in this kind of crouched down position. So basically you're gonna put one leg up on the bench and you're just gonna be pushing up through your heel uh, starting in that lower position made this a lot harder in my opinion just because it's more of like a distance you have to like push your body up um, with these what you really want to focus on is not pushing off uh, up off the foot that's on the ground you only want to be using that foot on the bench so basically if you look here I've got that left foot up on the bench and you, I do not want to be pushing off my right foot off the floor because that kind of takes away from the whole exercise basically so you're just pushing your body weight up through the heel of that foot on the bench So for the second part of the superset, you're going to be doing some wall sits with these. Uh, they're kind of switched up at the suggestion of my boyfriend once again. He gave me these last two exercises or kind of modified them for me so that I could uh, work that side butt area, which is what I told him I want to focus on. 
so we usually do not work together work out together um even while we were on vacation we weren't working out together but he did give me a few suggestions that really really helped so with these wall sits you've got the band around your thighs right above your knees and you're just gonna sit and you're gonna pull out from your hips and just separate your legs and do 15 of them on that 15th rep you're gonna hold it as i'm doing right here and just really really let the burn sit in all right so last superset we've got on the list is glute isolation work with bands this is why i am like such a huge fan of bands because you can bring them anywhere and use them at home at the gym for burnouts or warm-ups or whatever bring them on vacation like i obviously have done here and i've used them so much while i was on vacation especially on leg days uh, i do have longer bands where i will use them for like upper body workouts too but these mini bands are the best um, so this first part of the superset is just glute kickbacks with the band. So you've got the band right around your thighs, right above the knees like you did on that last exercise as well. And you're just standing straight. I try to keep my back up straighter just because I feel like I get a better like glute pump with that uh, positioning and you're just going to kick back. Uh, the second part of the superset is really working the side booty as well. So you're just doing step outs with the band. You've got the band around your ankles this time. For this one, you can see I used a lighter resistance so that I could really step out far. You want to get a little lower than I was uh, just to really feel it. So I hope you guys really enjoyed that workout. It was a lot of, you know, no weight, um, unweighted exercises just because at a hotel gym, you're not going to have a ton of weight. This gym does have a pretty large span of like dumbbells. And as you could see, there's a lot of other equipment, but I tried to keep it, you know, a little bit away from the equipment side because most gyms do not have like any equipment. So I did a lot of band work, dumbbell work, bench work. Uh, I hope that was helpful for a lot of you and uh, make sure you subscribe and like so I can keep on making videos that are helping you guys out. So have a great day. Bye.